In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sprite play a random sound each time it's clicked or whenever you want really. If you learned something from this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like or thumbs up button below. And if you want to see future videos of mine show up in your subscription feed, make sure to subscribe also. I've already gone ahead and created my own sprite that I named Button that I drew in the paint editor. So I just took a purple rectangle and then wrote play a random sound in a lighter color on top of it. This is going to be the sprite that when clicked on will play a random sound. So because I already know it's going to be a sprite that needs to be clicked, I'm going to bring in the when this sprite is clicked block. The next thing I need to do is go into the sounds tab and I need to make sure that I have more than just one sound. So right now I only have the pop, you might see meow here, but I'm going to start adding a few sounds from the sound library. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom left and then choose a sound. And I'll do that multiple times. Now that I've brought five sounds into my project, I can actually start using them in code. And if you'll notice, on each sound, there's a little number in the top left going from one all the way till the last sound, which is five here. Now this is going to come in handy because when I go back to the code tab and I go to the sound palette, I'm going to be able to play a sound by its number, not just by its name. And the way that I'll play it by its number is by going to the operators tab and I'm going to use the random number generator and I'm going to place that exactly where the name of the sound goes. So now I'm not going to pick a number between 1 and 10. I'm going to pick a number between 1 and 5 because that's how many sounds I imported. And now to complete this project, I just connect it to when this sprite is clicked to that event. And now when I click on the sprite, it should play a random sound from the list. Now that you know how to bring in sounds from the library and use code to play them randomly, my challenge to you is to modify this so that a user doesn't have to click on the sprite to play the sound. So you have to figure out when it's appropriate to use randomness to play some random sound in your own projects. So if you're playing a game or if you're creating a game and someone's playing it, maybe you don't want them to experience the same exact sound every time they go up to another character to talk to them or something. Or maybe every time the character jumps, it does a different type of grunt, for example. It's up to you to take this knowledge and do something useful with it, so I can't wait to see what you do. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.